We got the headlights all loaded up in the back. We got the Morimoto Halo sitting in the front seat. We got the lenses sitting in the front seat on the ground wrapped up as well. Just got off of work and we are headed, cruising very smoothly to my brother's house. And I'm trying to drop off the headlights. I just called my buddy who's gonna be doing the headlights for me and retrofitting the halos onto it. And uh, he's not picking up, but hopefully uh, tonight we get to drop off the headlights to him because they're ready. They're ready to go. In that clip before, you guys just saw that I painted them. My dream build would be the ILX jewel headlights, as you guys all know what that is. Or I'd just do LED retrofitted, and that looks super sick too. But uh, this is a cheap alternative for mounting your headlights, so uh, I think they're going to come out really clean though. When I film and drive, I either do one of two things. I let go of the gas, it goes slow, or I step on it two times harder and end up going 80 and just passing everybody. And be sure to drop a like and a comment when you're done watching because it just really helps out the channel and actually recommends my video to new people so new people can find this channel. And I'm just trying to get all the TL enthusiasts on my channel. Well, I guess some of them are left already because some of them don't like me because I'm not doing a supercharger. But it's in the plans, so just stay tuned. My window decided to stop working, so. This drive-thru is going to be interesting. Like, sometimes it works. Most times it works. Oh, there we go. Come on. I heard you. Yes. Yes. Thanks, man. Thank you. Right there. You too. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Ah, the life of a barber, a detailer, a construction worker. What are we having today? We are having a number two. All around? Yep. Any phase or anything like that? Nope. It is now 10.55. Uh, I only went on that run because I've been waiting for my headlight guy to get back with me so I can drop these off because I don't want to make another trip tomorrow out here. It's like a 45 minute drive, but looks like we're going to have to head home. I got to be up early in the morning to go finish the truck that I detailed today. I got to finish the inside and stuff like that. So uh, I guess we'll see you guys maybe tomorrow, maybe in a couple days. All right, we're picking up the headlights right now. A lot of people, what they do is they just put the the black wire over the white. But to me, that looks tacky. Mm -hmm. It looks unprofessional and stuff. So I use the actual parts that Morimoto. They have oh, like yeah. little um, prongs that you, you're supposed to use, but a lot of people don't use them. It kind of goes around and hooks it. And it hooks around okay. it. Um, same on the other side. Same exact thing. Sweet. And then when you once you get the um, the halos to turn on and stuff. What about the fogginess on the? On the actual right yeah. uh, lens itself. You see that right there? Where? On that fog. Oh, on this, uh, yeah. on that? That was, uh, I took um, a thing and tried wiping off the actual uh, projector itself. Mm -hmm. I mean, this one didn't have it. I don't know why this one had um, some on there, um, but it was just like that how, how I got it. What was it? I don't know. I wiped it off. Oh, had something on there when you got it? Yeah, no, it, that's what it still is. It's still right there. Uh, a little bit on the, oh, that's weird. On the actual by itself. Here's four. Okay. Okay. So you'll grab the number four. Right here. Mm-hmm. It'll just plug her in. That's it. Take this. Uh, ground uh, turn signal power. Does all the grounds need to be in different spots? Um, no, they, I just usually connect it to one. Okay. Just, just one big bolt, ground. One, okay. one bigger bolt. It'll be fine. Um, and then this connects to your little... So these can plug into anything? Any, any. Okay. So this one could go to that one, that one, okay. that one. It don't really matter. 
but this just goes like that. Boom, you're done. This one will go to the other box that will connect to that, boom. And then, um, mount that somewhere. Mount this wherever, um, or you can hide it. And then ground and power, that's it. It's pretty simple. How do you, how do you connect your ground and power? Um, I put one to just a uh, bolt, and then I put one straight to the battery, and then I just, uh, or you can put it to a fuse that turns off when your car turns off. This one I put extra seal in because the clips didn't want to actually clip in. For real? I didn't want to push into these clips. So I put extra seal just so it, it has a seal in it. Okay. You see what I'm saying? It, it has a seal, but some of this just didn't want to clip. This wouldn't go in? None of this would push in. That's even weird. After, um, even this right here? Yeah, I used, um... Uh, you have these clamps. Is it because is it because the sealant was still inside of there? The no, old sealant? No, 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 because we I can I usually just reuse people's uh, sealant that comes in them. Um, if I need to, I'll add sealant in there. Um, this, for whatever reason, whatever reason, it didn't want to even uh, get anywhere close to sealing up. That's so weird. I was like, what the heck? So I used clamps actually. I put extra sealant in here. Um, that's why it's a little bit more out. Um, because it's it's more sealed mm -hmm. um, and then I use clamps and I clamp all this and then let it dry overnight obviously and then um, but no this is I, I guarantee you uh, if anyone if any of them are gonna leak it's gonna be this one so I actually had uh, one of the boxes tucked up in here uh, okay and then I put all the boxes over here and mind you the black piece went like all right here so it really covered everything and then I routed the wires because my uh, battery and fuse box is over there, but you still have to route wires because you have two lights going over here, okay. right? So I routed the wires all throughout here, brought them through here, and then boom, they connected straight to there. So, and this does get warm, but it doesn't get hot like an engine. Yes, sir. And then I have two minutes. I'm about to drop one of the twins off at uh, Colby's house, too, on the way to your place, because I'm going to drive one up. You hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, my girlfriend's hungry too. <laughs> All right, All right. Look at them in there. All right, man. Cool. Thank you. All right, guys, headlights are in the back. We're gonna be installing them tomorrow, so we'll see you guys then. Headlight number one, headlight number two with the retrofitted halos are back home and ready to be installed on the TO. Finally, four weeks later, guys. Huge shout out to Tyler for doing these for me. I honestly just didn't feel confident in myself. Oh man, they're doing construction in that room. I wasn't really confident with myself retrofitting these, and I know he's done this a lot, so he did a pretty clean job on mine. This one is definitely better than the other one though, because, I don't know if you guys heard him right, but he said mine were a little bit dirty when, he gave them to, when I gave them to him. But then if you look up inside of here, you can see, you can also see the wire inside of there a little bit, and it's a little bit hazy, so I'm also saying, if you guys heard him right, uh, it wasn't closing all the way for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why, but um, we're just hoping that the light fits back on the car and sits flush. So I'm going to go ahead and start sanding and restoring the headlight uh, lens themselves. So we'll fast forward. Oh my, I cannot talk. So see you guys when this is done.
lights all cleaned up and looking really good. I uh, wanted to show you guys this. We also got new turn signals, LED switchbacks. So they go from the white LED back to the amber. Here's the stock one. Here's the new one right here. Just want to show you guys. We did upgrade these too, so I'm pretty excited about that. <music> Lights are back in and looking pretty good. This side fits wonderful. I remember when I first removed them, they actually sunk in a little bit, a little bit, but now they fit super flush. And this side, uh, because Tyler wasn't able to reseal them all the way, um, for whatever reason, I don't, I don't really know because I haven't seen uh, what it looks like underneath there. But look how much it wasn't able to close up all the way. It is just not aligned perfectly. Right, just right here in the middle, right here. On the corners, it looks good. So once I get my bumper back on, it's gonna look really good. Right now, I'm just kind of focused on this inside right here. It wasn't cleaned up properly. I know you guys heard Tyler explaining why the fogginess and stuff was there. It might have been my fault, it might have been his fault. I'm not gonna blame him because we're buddies and that's not what I'm doing here, but I might have to open them up down the road because they weren't properly cleaned on the inside. So next step, of course, is wiring up the halos. I got the wire sticking up right here on both sides. What's up guys, it's the next day. We're letting the car idle for just a little bit because when it wants to sit for a couple days or when the car sits for a couple days, the battery wants to drain out. So before I do any electrical work today, I just wanna make sure the battery's charged up. All the pieces sitting right here, Tyler did me a favor like you guys saw and marked them one through four. So I know which ones go to which halo ring. And then, um, and then I got my Bluetooth controller, and then we just went out and bought some extra length wire, and then the little uh, ring terminals that I'll be using to connect this to the battery. And then like Tyler explained, this power and ground is for the turn signal. You're supposed to tie into the turn signal on uh, the headlight already as is, but I'm not gonna be doing that today. But for today's video, I'm not gonna be doing this tie-in. You guys can see they're both on. All right guys, I gotta show you what it looks like at night. It is now 11.30 at night. I'm almost pretty much exactly where you guys left off, but it's dark now and you guys can actually see it instead of it bright and them looking very dim. As you guys can see, there's power to the Bluetooth. I have the Morimoto Bluetooth app. Only demonstration I can show you guys right now. So I can control these two outer ones together and then I can also control turn on the middle ones, but then when I go to change the color, they only want to stay red, the default is red. See, I have it on a fade setting right now, and all it does is turn on red. So let's get closer, there you guys go. That's all I can get. It took me a while because I'm not familiar with this. I know it's a lot of plug and play. For anyone who knows how to do this, you guys know it's super easy, but um, I'm just like not confident when it comes to this stuff, so I apologize on that end. Uh, this part isn't a tutorial at all and I don't really know everything, so. I wanna show you guys the lights, though. Oh, that's so bright. This is my first time seeing these at night. So here's my my new daytime running lights, or not daytime running lights. These are my new um, turn signal lights. And just to show you guys that they work as switchbacks. I know it's hyper flashing, I still gotta install the, um, install the resistor for that, but just to show you guys that it's a switchback. That's what it's gonna be looking like. No more of that amber while I'm driving. So 
I'm really happy with that. So turn signal, and then goes immediately back to the white. I love how the switchbacks actually match the HIDs. So check out the mint interior. Then you look up and we got the star lights going on. I'm so excited to drive this thing at night again. I miss it so much. And it's gonna be so fun. Look at that starlight back there. Finally got the lighting part done almost with this car. So really happy about that. Yes! Yes, let's go! Yes, let's go! I figured this out myself. Yes! Just kidding, somebody helped me on Instagram. This is day three of trying to figure this out. For people who have done this before, you're probably thinking this should have took 30 minutes. You're absolutely right, but I finally got it looking very clean. It's tucked underneath right here. It then goes to all this crazy wiring right here. Now, what I don't like is how many wires there are. The good thing about these little blocks right here, if you guys already know, uh, this is what helps save your halo from burning out if too much power is put to it. So input, output, and make sure the right amount of voltage is going from here to here. These little black wires right here is what I struggled with the whole time. I just didn't know they needed to be grounded for the whole thing to properly work. The orange wires right here are for connecting to the turn signal. If you wanted the halos to go to the turn signal, I don't want that, so we just tape them up. Bluetooth module sits right here. Power wires right here, goes all the way down, wraps around the battery, then comes around this side, super clean. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the Bluetooth right there. It looks pretty clean to me. In the ground, of course, will go to the battery and power the halos. I'm so pumped right now. All I gotta do is tuck this down there away. I don't really know how I'm gonna make it look super clean yet. So here's the white. Man, these looks amazing. I did not think it would look so good because they just, they were so dim before. Now we're gonna go into the Morimoto Bluetooth app and we're gonna pair it. Oh, I think we're connected. See what I did on accident? I plugged it into the wrong one. But that's easy, super easy fix. We just need to swap one of these black ones to the number two section. Oh man, that is so sick. Really happy I took the extra day to make sure this was 100%. The car is 100% right now. The new clutch has been in as we speak right now, but you guys have to wait for that video because today is the next following day. We can finally say mission success. We're gonna close the hood, put the bumper back on, and next video, guys, is gonna be very, very good. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, staying to the end, and putting up with my non-electrical self. So who's got the most aggressive TL on the internet right now? I think that'd be me. Thanks guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new. If you guys made it this far, it means something. We obviously had a connection. You made it to the end of this video, this long video. You gotta subscribe down below and drop a like, drop a comment, tell me what you guys think. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.